Hello everybody! Thank you so much for bearing with me with the technical difficulties. Um, we shall be having the lovely Laurie from Coast to Coast Gra Craft Girls joining us very momentarily. As you can see, it is a little bit of a difference from the normal display. This is because obviously I have a guest on. Um, if you give me, I'm just going to quickly activate the settings so Laurie should be able to come straight in. And we should have Laurie with us. Hello. Hey, guys. Hello, lovely. How are you doing? I'm good. How about you? I'm not too bad. Um, it, just say hello to a few people that have dropped into the chat. So we've got uh, Phil Watson. We've got Simon Smith with us. Um, Emerald yeah. Media. Um, that's a new face. So hello to you. Um, um, that's my daughter. Oh, that's your daughter. Oh, well, I'm so glad to meet you. <laughs> um, my oldest, yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, we also have Emma Thrower with us. We've got the lovely Betsy, of course. We we give big love to our lovely Betsy. Um, we have Caroline F. with us, the crafty chimp. Um, apparently your mother, 1298, who says hello to you, Laurie. Um, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> uh, we also have... Uh, Olga Vasquez with us, uh, Hannah Gosling-Smith and Melanie D. Hello to everybody. It's nice to see you all here. So this is the first time I've actually done something like this. I don't know about you, Laurie. Is this a new one for you? It is a new one for me. <laughs> actually, I have not done any YouTube lives, so that's a new one. And then a joint one is new. And then uh, teaming up with my, my bud in uh, the UK is always a good time. So hopefully we'll have some fun and do some crafting and probably laugh a lot along the way. <laughs> well, we usually do that anyway, don't we? So it is, <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a fun one. <laughs> Absolutely. So we do have Did our little... Tell everyone our theme? Sorry, sweetheart? Did you tell everyone our theme for today? Ah, well, I did put it in the actual title box, so everybody should uh, know that we are going to be crafting off against each other. Um, I think we agreed on roughly an hour time limit, wasn't it? Somewhere yeah. in that region? Um, yeah, about that. We're, we're going we're gonna to do something like that. <laughs> um, yeah, so our theme is something old, something new, something borrowed or permanently acquired in some people's cases, and something <laughs> yes, blue. Well. <laughs> yeah, I, I was sort of, I told Gaz that my borrowed is more like permanently borrowed, so I guess that's more like stolen? I don't know, but we'll see. <laughs> I, I say it's more of a um, permanent acquisition. It's a permanent borrow, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a permanent borrow, so it's fine. <laughs> um, so I'm going to bring in a few bits of what I'm going to be using, and then you can show what you're going to be using. All right, I'm going to flip my camera down, so my screen's going to go black here for a minute while I readjust my camera. So That is no problem. Right, so what I'll do then is I'll bring in the little bits that I'm going to be using. So for my something old, I'm going to be using my um, Through the Looking Glass uh, box set that came from Crafter's Companion. So I've got these lovely stamps and coordinating dies which I will be using and also I've selected some of the papers from that set as well. So that's my old. Now my something new was actually made with the thing that I borrowed. So <laughs> I've okay. borrowed these moulds from a friend of mine. And is it a permanent borrow or is it a borrow borrow? Oh, this is a borrow borrow. Unfortunately, I'm going to have oh, okay. to send them back, which is absolutely devastating because I love them. <laughs> so uh -oh. with those, I have made some of these lovely little bits. And bo I've got oh, loads of them. Oh, those are so cute. They, they are amazing i think so i've got i've got an absolute Those ton of them adorable. out in front of me i have at least one of each one um and just so that i could kind of show to everybody um how they look when they're done because obviously it's you know people are going to want to know that i guess maybe um yeah i've i did a few of these so we have this little oh that is gorgeous so i did those those are made with stone cast so they're they're solid they are really solid. 
Wow, those are really They're kind of really like China-ish esque, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Cool. But they're, they're lovely. Some of those are gonna get used as well, so I have an absolute ton of them in front of me. <laughs> Alright, so my something old is really old. I don't know if you've seen these in a while. It's a Fisker's uh um punch, edge punch. So I'm gonna use that. That's my old. My something new is a uh, Stamps by Me embossing folder and die set that I have that I just got the other day, a couple days ago. Um, it's a Freesia embossing folder. So you cut the die and then emboss with that. So that's yeah. going to be fun. That's my new. Let's see. My borrowed is kind of a little cheap. My permanently acquired. It's actually just a ribbon. But this is a ribbon that I cut off of my daughter's prom dress <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> one of my daughters well i actually i don't know if it was prom or i don't know some dress that she wore that's hanging in the closet so you know i can't even remember which daughter it was i think it was my youngest but um so that's my permanently acquired and i'm going to use some blue cardstock so that's brilliant so that's what i was thinking is maybe i can either get away with picking out the blues in some of these papers that i'm using or well, my main my main idea was to bring in because I'm going to be doing some vignette and stuff anyway. Is bring in my uh, one of my blue ink ah, pads. Yeah, so. you're some blue ink. Yeah, I'm going to use some blue ink as well. So some ocean blue. That that is where we are at. <laughs> All right. So, do we need to set a timer, or shall we just go? Um, I, I have now. Uh, no. I have to say, I have not done anything ahead, so I'm going to be starting from like cardstock. Nothing's cut. Nothing's. I everything's out. Because my hardest thing, my biggest thing that takes the longest is deciding what paper I'm going to use. Honestly, That's so fair. I already did that. But other so, than that, I, I think I have nothing. Oh so gosh. we'll see how I've this goes. I've been a bit naughty then, but okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh, you're cheating, Gaz. Are you cheating? <laughs> I'm not cheating. <laughs> have... well, I would do no be, such to thing. Be fair, if you did, if you did the resin molds, they do take time to dry, so you kind of have to do those ahead. So I, I'll, I'll give you that one. Yeah, they but, yeah, kind of did need that, to be think... done beforehand, unfortunately, so I could actually yeah. use them. <laughs> so I guess that would be. But a I think bit I get a, a handicap in this. I, I think I get handicapped in this uh, event because. Uh, you already started and I haven't, so. Well, okay then. But I um, do know what I'm going to do. I have an idea. That is fantastic then. Well, we're, we're at eight minutes live right now. So right. if we want to go for an hour from now, so let's, let's, let's get into it. Right. Let's get into it. And I have to, I, All right, you may so get your hand, get handicap back because I need to find the back piece for my shadow box that I'm going to make. So. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> You may get your handicap back. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to get started here. And... I just need to quickly find a piece of board that's going to be big enough to actually... And I'm going to use my Stampin' Up! trimmer because it's quieter. <laughs> I've got a very similar <laughs> one that I, bought from, that I got from Creative Craft Products, and it's got both the little... Um, so I can screw yeah, and I'm, cut the... on it as well. Yeah, I, I love that with the score and the cut. But my guillot—I love my guillotine, but um, it's really loud on a with a microphone. So we're gonna. I really need to. And I haven't these. used these punches in forever. I had to brush the dust off of them. Were they really that bad? They were truly dusty. Oh, that is. I have not, not good. used them in years. I don't know where I'm going to find. I don't have a piece of mount board right now. That I can... oh yeah, I do have mount board. <laughs> and the first, the first one, I I started to use my punch, and I literally pushed down on it, and it broke in half. I think no. it's because the plastic is so old that it just like shattered. So it so just completely it gave up straight break. away. Yeah, uh, it just like the whole thing just broke. <laughs> Lynn Morton, the lovely lady but, joining us, is Laurie from uh, Coast to Coast Gra Craft Girls on YouTube. If you're not following her, please do go check her out. I did put her link in the description box below as well, so you should be able to go straight to her straight away. 
Oh, um, she does some sweet. amazing videos. Thanks. I can't lie. I'm sometimes I get very jealous at some of the things she makes. And I think, gosh darn, why didn't I think of doing that? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I just, actually the project I'm making today, I saw on Pinterest and that's kind of where most of, I, I do a lot of browsing and I told my husband, you know, it's, it's kind of sad, but I start, I've started, um, ever since I've started doing these videos on YouTube, yeah. I started waking up like in the middle of the night with something in my head you know some idea in my head it's crazy i think we're all guilty of that though to be honest i know i've done it yeah you just wake up with something then... in your mind and then you try to figure out is it actually going to work or you know and look like that or no the worst thing for me is, is it wakes me up and then i just go oh yeah i've definitely got a right <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Back out, I'm gone. By the time I wake up in the morning, completely gone, forgotten. And then have you forgot it by the time yeah. you wake up? Yeah, the whole thing is just gone yeah. and completely forgotten. So it's just kind of like, oh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not cut out for this, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think... Well, it does take a lot of effort and work, more than I thought it would. I think I might be a little bit naughty and bring in my Stamperia Alice papers. I didn't want to use these because they're so pretty. And they're, you know, they're Isn't designed the just worst? for looking at. Yeah, that's but the I'm, worst. I have, I was I have a zillion earlier, papers. But... And I was just like, oh, I want that. I want to <laughs> use that. It's so hard to decide because I always look at a paper and I think, oh, that would be perfect, but I don't want to use it because then I won't have it anymore, which is insane because obviously, you know, well, it's not really I don't insane. just sit and stare at my paper pads, but, you know, make sure I line that up properly. So. And I'm sure my children would say that I have enough paper and crafting stuff to last oh, three I mean, lifetimes. Like, if I die, someone is getting a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> I'm yeah, not sure, I'm sure my point. kids would have a big garage sale. But, I mean, like, I, I, I might just I... message your kids and be like, don't worry about that. I, I'm, I'm coming with suitcases. <laughs> <laughs> Box it up and send it on. Yeah, because otherwise, I think if I died, my kids would have a big eBay sale. And the worst thing is as well, is like, because like, a lot of people just don't understand how much it's actually worth. Yeah. Yeah, just look at the visa bills and you'll be able to tell. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, though, is that they don't think that it's actually worth that. Yeah, well, it may not be to them. Right. But to me, it is. Well, I mean, to I gain me great well. pleasure out of crafting. I think we all do, like, everybody who kind of does it. And, like, for me, yeah. it's been a massive coping mechanism. Yeah, well, it's, it's, um, I mean, I'm retired, so it gives me something to do. And it's just like, fun to be creative and see what you can come up with and see if, and now my challenge is I come up with these ideas in my head. And then I try to see if I can actually make it, you know, come out anything looking anything like with the picture in my head, which sometimes I can and sometimes I cannot. So, you know, I think we all get a bit like that, though, because like, sometimes we just get to the point where we're like oh this this is not what i want it to be and then you just kind of bundle it up and throw it in the bin and just go right that's it i'm done yeah <laughs> but you know i i always say too like I, I in fact um well i was showing you some of this i was playing with embossing folders the other day and i a bunch of them the results i really liked and i didn't have anything in mind i was just trying a bunch of different techniques and most of them I really liked. And there was one that I was just like, eh, no. Nope. But, you know, all it is is a piece of card and a little bit of ink that I threw in the bin. And, you know, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. But I learned something and it's like, eh. I think Betsy's actually said it to but... us a few times, hasn't she? Where she's literally just said, yeah. it's only paper. Exactly. 
I'm cutting the stamperia exactly. paper, and I'm like, this is not just only paper. This is this is precious. <laughs> this what is am I precious doing? paper. <laughs> yeah, it's precious paper. I feel like I'm gonna like morph into yeah. Schmeagel at some point and just be like, my precious. <laughs> <laughs> And run away with a bunch of paper pads and hide in a cave somewhere. I mean, that, it's totally legitimate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this is sort of my little cave. If you could see my entire room, you would realize that it is actually a cave in here. Because I'm just, like, buried in craft supplies all around me. Yeah, I but mean, like, okay. this room is so tiny... Oh, hello, Michelle. Thank you for dropping by, lovely. It's nice to have you here. I hope you're doing well. Now, see, actually, Gaz, you're handicapped because you have to read all the comments. I don't see all the comments. That so is all very true. So you do have to work harder. Uh, and Lynn Morton says she thinks that crafting has saved many a person. That I think that's fair. Uh Pens, pens. Uh, Aaron says, uh, "Pens are to me the rest to charity." Apparently, um, <laughs> if my name's charity, then I guess the rest's going to me. Uh, unless he's talking about my stuff, then uh, I will leave a will stating that Aaron gets zero pens and everything goes to the cat zone. There you go. I'll take it. It should be to evenly. It will be like that scene in Harry Potter. <laughs> it would be like Gareth has left you a second bequeathment <laughs> <laughs> so funny there's a lot of comments about um, how people have uh, saved uh, have, been, have felt they, they've been saved a bit through crafting and stuff like that so it's really nice to it's really nice to read and see Hi, Christine. Hi, Laura. Um, she also says hello to you, Laurie. Christine says hello to you. Hey, Christine. Good to talk to you. Oh, my glue. There we go. And I think this actually... Oh, I mean, now, it's see, a little bit too is, high, guys, but... Since I've got my camera... my my, I'm using my phone for my camera. And it's up above me, so I can't see the screen. So I have no idea what's on screen or what you're Ooh. doing. Don't you have a second so, device that you could put the U the YouTube stream on? I I had it on the TV, on the big TV in my craft room a f earlier, and I think it's too distracting. So ah, well, well <laughs> it's then, okay. It may be it's okay. It'll be a it secret. may be a bigger handicap than you think then, because you're not going to be able to see anything that I'm doing. No. It's a big, but it, it's okay because I'll be surprised. It'll be a secret. I'm actually. I'm thinking... looking forward to seeing what you did. I don't know what I've done with those though. I've got some Stamperia Alice in Wonderland stamps somewhere as well. I don't know if I should just kind of change everything that I kind of planned and give myself a bigger handicap by not using anything I planned. <laughs> sure, why not? Go ahead. Sure, let's let, let's just shoot myself in the foot and just change everything. <laughs> Whilst I'm live. <laughs> Just to... But isn't that kind of how it goes, though, a lot of times? Where you're like, you have kind of an idea and you start something and then you end up in a, in a place that's completely different from where you thought you would be? Or I... I mean, I can't count how many times I've done that. I mean, um, I don't know if you remember that Christmas sleigh that I made. Yes. That was meant to have started off life as... Um, an easel card. Oh. <laughs> and I just went... And it what? turned no. into a 3D box. <laughs> it turned into a 3D box filled with sweeties that got posted to somebody very lucky. <laughs> wow. Nice. Did I hear Michelle joined us? Well, she did. Oh, hello, Michelle. I haven't talked to you in forever. I know. I mean, it's nice to have, like, everybody back together, isn't it? Yeah. It's like one of those, um, one, once in a lifetime uh, reunion tour things, you know? Yeah. It is definitely. 
like that. It definitely feels like a reunion here. Right, let's see how that works. Sorry, my Gemini is right next to my work surface, so hopefully it won't isn't too loud. I'm sure it's well. It's not. It's not a problem for me. Uh, so if it's not a problem for me, I imagine it shouldn't be a problem for everybody else. I'm really liking how this Alrighty. blue vignette is kind of. Oh, that really does make it pop. So do I want to do anything else on it other than these little bits that I've made? I found this uh, paper. Well, I mean, I they call it cardstock here, but you guys in the UK would call it paper. It's um, from Michaels, and it's like shimmer card on one on well on one side on the white, but double sided on with other colors. And it was super cheap, and it's just kind of lightweight, so it's really good for kind of molding into flowers and stuff. Yeah, so I got it on sale, and then I had a coupon, which even I you think know, makes you showed me better. a few of those the other day, didn't you? I did. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Crafty yeah. Stacy Lou. Thank you for joining us. It's lovely to have you here. Um, these papers are from Stamperia, my darling. You should still be able to get them on all good stockists. Uh, it is the Alice in Wonderland Through the Looking Gas scrap booking maxi pad. Through the Through the Looking Gas. Yeah, Through the Looking Gas. Through the looking <laughs> she I had some chili talk for today. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, me and talking are two things that are not working today. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do on this car, on, on this, on this shadow box, and I've got things everywhere, and it's just like, oh. <laughs> I don't know if I want to bring that in or not. No, I probably won't. Um, I am going to be really naughty and see if I can find these stamps. Why not just throw everything out the window and go with something completely different? Why not? Give me a little bit of a break here and just do something completely different. I'm not sure what I'm doing with them because they are hiding somewhere. This is what I get from having organised and tidied all of my stuff. I now know where none of it is. Yeah, that's the problem when you put stuff away, then you can't find anything. I, I now have zero idea when, where any of my equipment is. Oh dear, so my plates are not going to be in one of these boxes. <laughs> I better go over here. Uh, wish you well. That's all Gemini. That's all crafter stuff. Yep, I think you're going to regain that handicap quite quick. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. My Gemini just quit feeding my plates, so Let's see if I can make it work. Oh shit! Oops, sorry, bad language. <laughs> it's fine. Trust me, I've said worse on this stream. Right, I'm not sure where those are, so apparently I can't use them. I can't get it to work. So I will. I will have huh. to make well, what I've got work. Oh, okay. not a problem. Well, let's let's see this. what we can do with Hopefully these. Hopefully, it's just the plate. Oh, we've got some nice texture. Let's build some texture. Some lovely texture. Mm, I'm not thinking I think mad here. They finally warped so bad that it will not feed for my Gemini anymore. Guess I'm gonna have to do something about that. Let's see okay. if this worked. Yep, that worked. I'm hoping okay. my low tack tape doesn't ruin what I'm about to use. Well, what I'm about to do. Oh, don't ruin your card. That's the worst. Yeah, I will be really, like, disappointed with myself if that happens. <laughs> right. Especially when it's your when it's cardstock that you didn't want to use because it's too precious. It's too precious. <laughs> <laughs> don't Thanks. you feel that way, though? Your cardstock is too precious to 
like actually use. I feel that way a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, crap. Damn. What is up with my Gemini? Doesn't want to feed. Is your sandwich too too big? It shouldn't be. It should not be, but it. Let's try. I guess I shouldn't swear on your screen. That's unprofessional. <laughs> that didn't sound good. Let's have a quick check in on the comments. There's something blue anyway, says Phil. Gaz, the talk is the talk is clicking, says Betsy. Or she might be saying the the clock is ticking. It could just be me not reading it properly. <laughs> Who knows? Who wants to put a bet on it's me? <laughs> the clock is ticking. It is. It's tick, tick, ticking away. Are you both oh, making damn. the same thing? No, we're not, Rhonda. We're both making something different. Oh. Oops. Yeah, I can do it this way. And then in the in in you know um. The spirit of competition, we're going to get you guys to vote at the end. Hey, we're going to vote on this? I didn't know about that. Wow, we can let them vote on it, can't we? <laughs> see which one they like the most. <laughs> yeah. But it's going to be fun because we're making two completely different projects. Not only like, you know, just different looking, but you're doing a shadow box, right? Yeah. And also, and none, of this has been, none of this has been prehearsed. There's no. This is yeah. this is what's happening now. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> it's not anything that's been uh, pre-thought of or anything like that. So, I just don't want to use the same yeah. color. Um, should we get rid of that one? I really need those finger daubers are actually really handy, aren't they? I love my finger daubers. I I use them more than just about anything. I think I got these quite cheaply off of a particular website that I won't say the name of because you know. Because they don't sponsor you and you want them to pay you money? <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only, girl, if only. <laughs> they are freestyling, <laughs> says Michelle. Gaz making a mess, says um, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, like, well. That's like that's okay. anything new. Um, <laughs> that's the way crafting goes. It is. That is, you know, it is what crafting is. Yeah. Actually, I think I might put that we're all mad here up in the top corner. We're definitely all mad here. Oh, we are. Very appropriate. Very appropriate for us. We've actually got quite a, <laughs> quite a few people watching us this evening, so... Do we? We Good. do. Thank you so much for I being here. I tried to put a post on or like a message on my channel, um, but I don't really know how that works. So I'm not sure if it, if people saw it or not, <laughs> so, but I tried, you know, I mean, I'm pretty tech savvy, but not when it comes to you, the whole YouTube channel thing is new to me. So no, isn't it scary? <laughs> it's just, it took, you cannot even imagine how long it took me to figure out how to do put to post a short because I was trying to do it from my computer and apparently 
I don't know. You can't do that. And then, and then I, I screwed up. My daughter informed me that, um, because I did my short with the wrong camera perspective, you know, it's this way and it needs to be up and down. Yeah. It's like, oops. Well, oh, well. So, you know, whatever. That's crazy. I mean, like, we we actually I uh, don't know if it's gonna it's not gonna put you off if I say how many people are watching us, is it? No. We have thirty people watching us right now. Ah, oh. well, that's nice. Well, thank you everybody for joining. Yeah, thank you for joining I'm glad us. You're all here. Oh heck no! I'm not using no gilding flakes and no way no how. <laughs> oh gosh, no. <laughs> Me either. Did you see my disaster with the gilding flakes? I am still finding gilding flakes. Like all over my craft room and my clothing. And I had some in my hair for days. I tried to use some the other day. And literally all I've done is find gilding flakes everywhere. And in places where you wouldn't expect me to find them either. <laughs> considering they shouldn't have gone there in the first place. Gaz, we don't want to hear about those places. Not on, not on the stream. Well, Those are private. I wasn't thinking about that, but you know, I mean, <laughs> if 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 you're gonna go there, <laughs> if you're gonna, did go you find there... them in the bath? Well, actually, it was. Um, I I, I, I found them all over the bed. I found them yeah. like on the floor, uh, on the clothes that I took up. You know, like yeah. Yeah, my it's socks. Like the backing, they were you know, everywhere. The backing, you know the the backing to red liner tape. It's like that. I find that stuff all over the house. Yeah, that's a bit of a difficult one, though, isn't it? Because that like just um, it just oh, clings. It? it clings to you, doesn't it? Yeah, it just. It's but a the gilding flakes. But the building gilding flakes just go everywhere. Yep, the they building are... flakes go everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> they are a mess and um you just want to be careful i i read somewhere that someone i read someone had put their uh had opened theirs up with their ceiling fan on <gasps> no like, i can't even imagine can you imagine you'd have <laughs> stuff floating and flying all over your house it was bad enough the first time I opened. I thought it was bad enough the first time I opened a packet of them and I sneezed and they just. Oh, no. <laughs> they just took over the entire room. <laughs> yeah, they definitely would. Um, Holy cow. Then the second time when I opened them, I just didn't want to breathe. So I was holding my breath <laughs> and then I let out this massive breath and boof, the entire oh, no. pot went everywhere. And then I used them again, like for the third time the other night and I was just like, oh no. Didn't, it didn't work, but they didn't go everywhere, which was quite nice. It made a nice yeah. difference. Um, who else do we have in here this lovely evening joining us? Because we've got a lot of talkers. We've got um, Barbara R. We've got oh Sarah Brown from Down Under. Hello. Uh, good day, Sarah. Good day. Good day <laughs> to you. It, it's I'm lovely not to see very you. Good with accent. Good day. <laughs> It's close enough, I feel. <laughs> it's probably good night for her. I don't know what time it is. Yeah, there. I think it's some ridiculous time for her, bless her. Um, we've got Syl Sparkly as well. Hello, lovely. I can't remember if I did say hello, but hello if I didn't. And I'm sorry if I did. I'm sure she doesn't mind a second hello. No, I'm sure not. I'm, I'm absolutely sure she doesn't mind. There we go. Pop that back there. Right, let's bring in my frame. Okay, so there's that. Now, what do I need to do? Oh, oh that corner at the top there is looking a little bit naked. Let's put something on that. Um, I don't know if I should just put eat me. No, that's disgusting. Um, let's take that on. That way, so let's go. Let's just do that as a little bit of a texture. Let's grab it out that. There should be enough residual ink on there to do that. I don't want it to be too strong. Okay. I also didn't want that to move, but it did. Oh. <laughs> 
those things happen. It's added texture. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Am I right? <laughs> oh my gosh, right. So, now the biggest part is going to be when I start f playing with those uh, bits that I've made because they're going to take some time to paint. So I was thinking of having Alice on the chair down here. Or should I just... You know what? No, I think I'm going to go with that Alice. Because she sat down and she's got a little crown on her head. And we can have the, the Raging Queen. Did you say the Raging Queen? Oh yeah, she looks like she's raging, like seriously. Um, <laughs> the, guys are, the guys on the stream will be able to see her, but she looks like she's absolutely raging. <laughs> we can put her on there as well. Um, That's because someone didn't paint her roses red. Wasn't it because they were they were planted white and then but they were meant to be yes. red and then they ran around painting need to be them. Red. Every yes. journey starts with a step. No, painting care. the roses red. Painting the painting roses, roses red. red. I can't go back because to yes, they were planted white and they were meant to be red. You know, well, like queen. this. I can't go back to yesterday because I was a different person then. That's lovely. In fact, I think I might just use the Wonderland that I've already... That I already did. I'm thinking that might be... I haven't used any of my stamps. <laughs> and then we've got Tweedledee and Tweedledum as well. So difficult. Just That's what choosing... they're going to start calling us. <laughs> Tweedledum. I don't think we look the same though. Well, you know. I'd like to think you're much you're you're much prettier than I am, Laurie. <laughs> just in a different way. I do have a couple of those love hearts. I'll put those on as well. Because I've got all of these, it's so difficult not to use them. Oh, I like that. Some bits might be coming on the outside of the frame as well. Ooh. You got too many things you want to use? Oh yeah, there's so much that I okay, that I made. I used uh what was it, a kilogram pot? Um was it a whole kilogram? Oh uh, yeah, I used near enough an entire kilogram of stone cast to make these things. Oh wow. So to be fair, the first batch did muck up quite badly, so it was just bin. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, this, the next batches were actually really, really good. Mm. So I think that's probably what I'm going to actually do, but now, now comes the difficult part of painting it all. Um, should we put Adventure at the top? But then I would want to put Wonderland at the bottom and put those two there. Okay, then goes so there. It still looks good with that there. Frizzle on there. On there. Okay. It's going to be really heavy because these things are quite. <laughs> oh, do they weigh a lot? Oh, they weigh a bit. <laughs> oh, you said they were concrete or something, or? Yeah, it's have stone you tried cast. That... Have you tried that air dry um, foam clay? I just bought some of it. I was going to try. It's um, air dry clay, but it's uh, meant for, it's actually meant for cosplay costumes. So I'm sure my Amazon Why? suggestions are going to get a little weird, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, it's for, um, you can make like, put it in molds and stuff and make stuff, but they're very light and they're flexible. I need to get some of that then. I will have to have a look. I'm going to try when it I, when I finish, um, because the this is literally just basically like plaster of Paris for all intensive purposes. Yeah, no, this is this is um, it's really light. Let me find it. Here it is. Be careful, because that yeah. stuff is potent. It's air dry foam clay. 
and it's like super light and there's a bunch of it oh wow so I'll try it. yeah I'll, I'll try it i'll let you know how it goes yeah Please it could do. be an adventure i don't know what i've done with my paintbrush <laughs> But um, I was going to try it actually by molding it into embossing folders. Ooh. Ooh. To make, That's an idea, to make, isn't like, it? You know, florals or whatever you have in your 3D embossing folder. Oh, Laura, you you're naughty. So that's what I'm going to try. That is so a we'll really have to fantastic try that, yeah. idea. Yeah. So for everybody watching and listening, if you're enjoying this or you like it, make sure you tell us because maybe we'll do it again. Yeah, because we would like... Well, I know I'd like to do it again. That's for sure. I would love to. It's always fun to craft with you, Kaz. Te technical difficulties aside. <laughs> yeah, well, it worked out. We got, got it. You got it figured out. Yeah. I can't hear myself echoing, so you must have got your... I did. I got it all working. Speaker. It just took a, took a few extra minutes than I was expecting. I thought, oh, just a quick restart. It'll be fine. The whole thing will work. Yeah. And as wonderful okay. with computers, it doesn't always quite go to plan, does it? No, it does not. Right, so anything I want red, I'm going to paint now. I've got these. Um, I don't know if you've seen the Tim Holtz Distress paints. No. But my gosh, you use the tiniest little bit and it goes so far. Oh, wow. Now, I haven't seen those. Could you not use your ink pads that way? Um, I could, As but the paint? Um, I tried that earlier on. Yeah. But it was just, it didn't quite go how, it didn't look as good as I wanted it to. So I thought, oh, I'll try the mm. paints and they're just yeah. brilliant. Huh. Absolutely brilliant. Because the inks just wouldn't, um, just haven't got that coverage. So I would have had to have primed all the items beforehand. Oh, yeah. And with this, it's just that's literally fine. slap the paint on and it's done. Well, that's and nice. It gives it a really nice glossy finish. The guys that, um, the guys on the stream can see because I'm just showing off the nice little heart. Yeah. That I'm, uh, that I'm painting. But it seems as though my stamping ideas have actually gone out the window, so... Oh, well. I've just gone, gone for some texture. That always happens. I mean, you change your mind in the middle of stuff, and it's... I mean, that's what makes it fun. Let's just have a quick look. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Hello to Wendy Benson. Um, I don't think I said hello. Um, we did say hello to Sarah Brown and Barbara R is joining us as well. We've got quite a few people in. We're lucky ducks. Welcome everyone. I'm so glad everyone could join. Yep, if you you are enjoying what you're seeing and you you're liking um, you're liking this whole craft off thing, um, please do let us know, and we can arrange another one perhaps maybe, and we can even yeah. maybe get on another guest as well. Um, yeah, that would time. be fun. And uh, yeah, if if you're not subscribed to myself or Laurie, because uh, we do have Laurie from Coast to Cro Coast Craft Girls here, I'm trying to say the name correctly. I'm so sorry, Laurie. Um, no, it's actually kind of <laughs> rough to say sometimes. It's it, okay. It, it's a bit of a mouthful. I for do me. it too. <laughs> um, it's a mouthful. So, especially when you've been drinking, Gaz. I've not been drinking recently though, so <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm all right this time. Um, <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. So if you do want to, if well, if you are enjoying what you're seeing, don't forget to pop over to Laurie's YouTube. She, her link is in the description box below. Um, so you can follow her on YouTube as well. And she does some absolutely amazing makes. Thank you, Gaz. You're so sweet. And you're course, too kind. If you're not following me, don't forget to do that as well, because you can subscribe to my channel also. Yes, definitely do that. And... Don't forget to give us a nice like, and uh, if you fancy leaving, if you're watching this back and you fancy leaving a comment, please do, because we do like seeing the comments. Oh, absolutely. But only if they're kind. No. <laughs> well, even if they're not kind, there's always a response to a comment. <laughs> That's true. But nice comments are... Yes, nice comments are more appreciated. 
for sure. Or constructive criticism. I like constructive criticism, I have to say. Yes, that is also very welcome. If there is something that I'm, you know, I may not be doing that you think I should be, then don't hesitate to say, and if I think you're wrong, I shall tell you you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> wrong! <laughs> Incorrect! <laughs> Incorrect. Try again. <laughs> Try again another time. <laughs> oh, these things are so much fun to actually paint. I didn't think they would be, but they really are. You know, my children used to have those kinds of things when they were kids. You, they'd have those resin things at Michael's and then you'd paint them. Um, and they were, well, I always thought they were fun. I don't know if the kids liked them, but back we had when, several of them running around the house for years. Back when we were kids, they had these like little like plaster of Paris sets that they bought out for like various different things like Disney princesses and stuff. And my right. sister had some of those. So you'd cast the, the model and then paint it. Fun. But see, my sister, like, we were allowed things like that, but my parents weren't, like, Play Doh was like a no. Oh, really? Play Doh was just a flat out no, not happening, not anytime, and, and not anywhere. Was that because it was too messy, or you guys ate it, or what? Uh, it was because it was too messy, but then we were allowed plaster of Paris and paint kits. Well, it seems like that would be worse. It's, it's a bit of counterintuitive. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's worse. Definitely think that's worse. Yeah, I certainly would say so. Right, I'm just going to finish painting down the sides of these lovely chaps. There we go. Oh no, of course, because your camera's facing up, isn't it? So you can't actually see what I'm doing. I forgot about no, that. my, <laughs> my, uh, I, I'd have to, I can if I stand up and look, but or stretch really tall, but it's right above me, pointing straight down. So that's probably not something you want to do then. No, I put too no. much of that paint down. Because then I'll let you. Then you'll get ahead of me anyway. So I got to keep going. Because oh, we're getting. How much time left? We have. Um, 15 minutes? 20? 15? No, I think it's a bit longer than that because we started at 8 minutes past and it's now 48 minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So I'm doing I'm doing good. I'm going to make it. I think I might make it too if I can get everything painted in time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Painting, you, yeah. Painting takes time. Especially because you do such a good job. Oh, wow, I try that to. Is, you do a very good job. And I've got all these paints, like literally. One of my friends, um, her mum just literally just went, I'm not using paints in my power texting anymore. Do you want these Tim Holtz distress paints? And I was like, ah. uh, yeah. What kind of a stupid question is that? Gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> I'll take whatever. Wow, lucky you. So You're I was just scoring some really good deals lately. I am. You're there's Your ink pads like... and yeah, yeah. I've I can't lie. I've been very very lucky recently, and I have a lot. Um, I have a lot to thank these guys for everyone that's actually uh, watching right now, because I've had a lot of very 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 generous donations from people watching. That's very nice. Because um, as pretty much everybody knows at the moment I'm I'm off of work for health reasons so people have it's been good thing you won't see the back of this because man my glue is messy don't ever think it's messy that I'm doing <laughs> was that even worth painting their faces because it's the exact same colour as the plaster <laughs> Okay, I think that's it for my 
find me because I'm going to use my hard this. Let's actually try picking that up because I want, don't want to waste it. This paint is actually precious paint. <laughs> I've never met paint like it before. Such a tiny little... Uh, like, oh. I put down a tiny little spot. Tiny! Yeah. And I didn't even use all of it. <laughs> wow. The best kind of stuff. Um, well, I'll put the paint the flags red on top of their heads. Let's do that. Let's just give my paintbrush a clean off. Oh, we've not had any new comments in a while. We've lulled them all to sleep. Yep, we have. <laughs> I think we have 18 minutes left. Ish. I'm, I'm going to make it. I don't know if I am or not. <laughs> I've got so much stuff to paint. Oh, that's okay. I'll give you a few minutes because you've been reading comments, so that definitely takes a lot of time. Just going to try and add a little bit of extra. Okay, no, not too much. Oh, well, it was too much, wasn't it? Of course, it was oh, too much. Some extra footage. Probably didn't want it that light anyway, but never mind. It is what it is. And I've ruined that paint now, so I can't put it back in the pot. That's just going to have to be a clean-up. Either that or I'm behind on the comments. I'm not sure which one. It could be one or both. <laughs> what? Oh, that you've fallen behind on comments? Yeah, it would seem legit. Oh well, that's okay. I'm not sure the chat's not moving. Hmm. And we're definitely live. If anybody is still out there, could you just say something so that we know that you're not all dead? <laughs> Sorry, unalive. <laughs> not allowed to say the D word, are you? Because we don't want anybody being not alive. <laughs> that's right. Let me, I'm going to bring up the live on my TV here and see. Yeah, I'm just going to double check on my. But it's behind. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's a few minutes behind. Ah, oh, yes, I can see. Yeah, the comments have uh, frozen on my screen. That was all. So that was a me problem. You need a Ben to do the comments, says uh, Michelle. Yes, yes, I do. I think there. I think um, it's just a problem in my streaming software. I'm not surprised. It's 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 not wanting to behave recently, so it's very much being a little bit of a. <sighs> it's very much being That's a little okay. bit of a bleeder. So we, we still have um, we still have everyone here. Um, Aaron says that everybody's chatting amongst themselves, which is probably for the best. Probably for the best. <laughs> it's all good. Well, they they should. Do we want them? Do we want them to be distracting us? <laughs> uh, well, I'm actually doing good on time, so I'm okay. But I can't see. I, well, I guess I can kind of see the comments now because I've got it up on my TV. Because I, I turned it off earlier because I thought it would distract me and there's no way I'd get anything done. But um, now I'm in. I'm on the home stretch here. So, oops. Now what do I do with my pen? There it is. It's just me with my. So, I'm I'm good. I can. But yeah, reading the comments definitely takes some extra time. So. That paint is too strong. <laughs> Apparently, we are craft masters, according to uh, to Simon. Oh, I don't know if I would go that far. No, I don't think I would go that far either. I mean, <laughs> uh, I, I could, I'm just about holding myself together. 
<laughs> so I can't it's just say about I'm. Happy time. Yeah, I mean that's what we're here for. We just we we well we just enjoy entertaining people anyway, don't we? And I'm just glad that I managed to well, I'm just glad that we managed to kind of have that um have that chat and then just come to the conclusion that we both wanted to do this cuz yeah. It's fun. Well, cuz we have so much fun when we're crafting together anyway. So, we decided to share the fun. Well, yeah. That's what every I'll bring an air. Someone's um, so saying we're going to bring an air horn. I don't know what for. You guys are both doing great, and the projects look awesome. Says um, Emerald Media. Thank you very much oh, for saying so. That's my daughter, Tamara. She has her own. She has that's her business account. Emerald well, Media is her is her videography company. I know. I appreciate it. There we go. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my other daughter that lives with me just came in and said, their comments are coming. Yeah. I think it was just literally um, my, my computer just being um, an absolute failure. Yeah, well, these things happen. It wouldn't be, well, I mean, how many times have I said it when I've been live before? It wouldn't be my live, and it wouldn't be live if <laughs> everything didn't go wrong. Yeah, I mean, things things happen. And it's not the worst things that could have gone wrong, so. Nah. Wow, I'm really liking the, the way these are turning out, actually, because... Even though I'm not putting as much, mm. I keep forgetting that I'm on I'm on the clock, and I'm just like, yeah, just paint, it's fine. I'm just playing. I'm just painting. Yeah. No, you got a time pressure today. I know, and it's not usual that I have that. This is this is terrifying. It's a very different experience, isn't it? When you gotta. Time it's pressure. Bit. It is a bit. It's a bit of a big difference. Yeah. And like trying to figure out colours as well, whilst I'm I'm on the fly trying to We have eight minutes and thirty two seconds left. I'm oh doomed. Ah. I'm doomed. It's not gonna happen. Eight thirty two. Someone's counting for us, huh? Yep. We have uh, Sil Sparkly. Spark is our, Spark is keeping us honest. Yep, she's keeping us honest. Sil Sparkly We're is crying. keeping us very honest. Uh oh. I know. I was. I, I was hoping that the honesty might go out the window. <laughs> uh, get on there. I don't want to rush paint these either because they're too pretty. Okay. Um, there we go. Okay. I'm getting close, guys. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say no anything. No pressure. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not saying a word. I'm not saying a word. I'm behaving myself. I'm being a good boy. <laughs> Why start now? <laughs> I was going to say that's the first time a woman's ever said that. To me. <laughs> I was wondering if it was going to be something like that. <laughs> of course it was. I'm disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't make yourself laugh too hard. You're gonna be. Uh, you're gonna be. You need the time. I do. Don't, I need the time. I can't. I can't. I can't. Um. I can't let myself get uh, overly taken by something naughty because the chat's gonna go mad as soon as the, as soon as it catches up. The chat is gonna go mad. <laughs> Because <laughs> they're a little bit behind us. Yeah. Right. 
right. <sighs> now people keep it beige, no blue. Well, actually I'm just putting down some blue paint to use, so. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> what are you painting those moulds with and can you paint them with anything? Um, I'm using Tim Holtz Distress paints because they don't, it means that what I'm making, what I've made doesn't need priming and I can just paint with them straight off the bat. Um, these are made from stone cast material which is basically like a plaster of Paris and you can paint them with anything as far as I'm aware you just need to prime the surface I'm just gonna paint his hair put a little bit of blue in that Paint the ticket that he's holding. I don't think I can, I've still got another three things to paint. I don't think it's gonna. <laughs> You're not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghettios. Well, that's okay. We'll it's give you a little bit of extra time. So it depends on the medium you use, what you can paint with them. Um, I would probably say that most mediums you're going to use, you can use the distress paints. You could use any acrylic base paint. Um, I would probably not go for watercolours because they won't adhere to the surface. But as long as you prime your surface, you can pretty much use whatever you like. Um, obviously, aside from watercolours. How much longer do we have? We have two minutes. <laughs> two <laughs> Two minutes, one minute. Oh my god. I am going to make it, but just barely. We have one minute, and I have no. I still have. Well, all I need to, to do is put on my stolen ribbon, and then I'm good. I really wanted to make these look really pretty, and I'm not going to get the time to. Well, oops. Get on there. Ah, that's my own fault. I should have. Uh... I should have thought a bit more about it before. Ha! Done. Still got a few seconds left. I got a reverse easel card. I'll tip my camera up the other way here in a second. Actually, I'm going to tip my camera, so I'm going to, my screen's right. going to go blank here for a minute. I'm going to have to put my paintbrush down. I have not completed. But, uh, <laughs> unfortunately. Step away from the paint. I've put my paintbrush down. I've stopped painting. I'm just going to bring what I have done into the centre <laughs> so that everybody can see it. <laughs> you could see I think maybe I was a little bit too ambitious for um yeah for you know an hour goes really quickly it does it's amazing how fast it goes all right so oh you your ready? daughter says that yours looks you awesome it. so I've got an ease uh oh oh this way so there's the front oh let me oh, just this uh, way. And, I've got to uh, flip you back twisted easel There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's my fault. Oh yeah, I'm upside down. Not anymore, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> There's my twisted easel card. That is gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. And, and I've then, got my of... little stolen ribbon on the inside. And as we can see, I've not actually even managed to Let stick anything of mine together. Oh, I love that paper. Is that the paper you were? Oh, no, it was Gaz. He fixed it. My daughter just came in and said, your camera's upside down. 
Yeah, I had to flip you so that when the camera was flipped for your for your down screen, it looked up the right way. <laughs> so you had to flip me over. I had to, I had to flip the flip the box. That sounded bad. <laughs> flip it. So that's that's what I've got. I love that paper. Yeah, it, it's it's really Is that, lovely. That's the paper you were talking about. Yeah, that's the Gorgeous. that's the Stamperia paper. So I'm gonna have to finish this. I'm gonna have to finish this off stream. Yeah, sorry, I added on my, a bigger picture. That is beautiful. It's well, I think it's really lovely. The painting needs a little bit of work on it, but yeah, that one's the best oh, I one. Like those, those it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, that looks that is amazing. I can't wait to see the finished picture. Yes, I will have to. Well, I will finish it off stream, and I will put a picture up on the handcrafted by Gaz Facebook group. I can't wait to see it. So I think well we well we've done well you've done your project I need to kind of um, <laughs> finish mine. <laughs> oh Hannah, did you see Hannah's comment? Oh, which what did she say? First time he's flipped a girl over. He <laughs> said first time he Gaz has flipped a girl over. <laughs> yeah. Hannah, yeah. you're naughty. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> but probably true. <laughs> yes, it really it is true and very funny i mean there's there's always a lot of innuendos <laughs> in my lives and stuff anyway so you know you you kind of sat I and watched tell it. that yeah you got some some naughty naughty gals that join you yes i i have a lot of naughty naughty people that like to join me and I, i'm glad for it you know i think it's great yeah it's always good for a laugh it is it's absolutely fantastic so what do you think do you think we should do one of these again I would love to do that, but I would love, uh, you know, if everybody enjoyed it. Yeah, well, I mean, I hope everybody's enjoyed it. If everybody has enjoyed it, do you want to give us a little thumbs up? And don't forget us, boys. Yes, of course. That We, we have Simon, we have Aaron, we have Phil. Um, sometimes we have Mike uh, pop in and Jay, he comes in as well. Okay. So actually, there's quite a healthy group of guys that come in here as well. Okay, so I think he was talking to me because I said some. You've got some naughty gals, but okay, you got some naughty boys too. Yes, got some naughty boys as well. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, wouldn't want to forget the naughty boy. No, Teresa says she wants to do one too. <laughs> Barbara says yes, yes, yes again. Lindsay's given your daughter. Lindsay's given us a big thumbs up. Kirsty D says really, Gaz. I've never noticed any innuendos. Well, not for a while. <laughs> Hannah, Rhonda, Caroline. <laughs> Emerald Media, Barbara R and Teresa are giving us some big thumbs up. So maybe we will have to do another one, Laurie. We will definitely. Now, remember I told what I told you. Our next one's going to have to, I think we're going to have to use our gel plates. Yes, we will have to. Oh, no, those things are terrible. Either the gel plate or the better press, because we both have a better press. Too. Yes. Well, we can use the, we can use the, well, we could probably use both, really. Yeah, well, we could. Yeah, mm. that, that could be. Because we got to try some new things. Yeah, we do. Because I've always not, good. I've Scratching, not done <laughs> trying new stuff. I've not done. I've not really done anything with my better press since I bought it. So yeah. that is something I, that needs to come. I have. I've used mine a little, but not too much. And uh, well, hopefully, seeing that everyone's enjoyed this, I uh, hopefully we can all see that the screens were okay. We've not had any issues with anything it's all been really good hasn't it so it's definitely something that's going to have to happen again i think maybe we we're, we're gonna have to uh i might have to pay for the upgrade on the software so i can have multiple people at the same time <laughs> and we could yeah that would like, be fun we could do like a three or four person craft off that would be pretty good you start to get the brady bunch on the screen yeah do 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 <laughs> oh that's brilliant but do the same project we can't oh yeah oh yeah so we would so it would have to oh, be oh. we yeah we would have to kind of um come together and uh no simon that's disgusting uh we would have to come up with an idea <laughs> and we would all make it yeah this would be great um sarah loved this video and we were both great so I'm glad that everybody's enjoyed it. Have you enjoyed your time, Laurie? I have loved it. It's it's awesome. And how I do you always love crafting. 
how do you feel about being live now do you do you you think it's something you'd like to do yourself or uh we'll see i don't know it's kind of i mean it's different i you know the challenge is and you do it very well of keeping up with the comments while you're working i tend to go into a little bit of a you know crafting coma or whatever and yeah and so trying to keep track of the comments while i'm crafting i think would be tough for me but it's a skill i would have to learn for sure yeah um Rhonda says marsha 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 <laughs> <laughs> and the only response we have for that is sure jan <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think, for... Rhonda, I think Marsha was M-A-R-C-I-A, though. Was so. it? I, I think remember. it is, it, Marsha. It was such a great TV show, and and the films were great as well, so I can't really say anything. It was it was absolutely fabulous. I enjoyed the whole thing. It's so absolutely... we've had a great time this evening. Everybody here has had a no great problem. time. So maybe we will have to come up with... Um, Maybe we can get Laurie back next week or we can get someone else to join us next week for another craft off. Yeah, that'd be fun. I would love it. Well, maybe we'll have to make it a better thing. Yeah, I think it would be absolutely fabulous, to be honest. And everybody's really, really enjoying it. So on that note, then, I think we both need to say a big thank you to everybody for being here, don't we? Yeah, for joining so, us. A definitely. big thank you for joining us. We love you all very much. Um, and if you're not already subscribed to the lovely Laurie, please do head on over to Coast to Coast Craft Girls with the number two, not the letters. Isn't that right? Yes. Um, go over there and subscribe to her. She's got some absolutely fantastic videos. Um, if you're not subscribed to me as well, don't forget to hit that lovely subscribe button before you leave. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so that you find out when I'm going live or new videos are posted and um, in the description box below if you do have any questions you don't feel like you can ask that are craft related I always have to say that because I'll end up with disgusting emails (laughs) otherwise Um, (laughs) craft related questions uh, ask me at handcraftedbygaz.co.uk and um, at the moment my website is directing to my Facebook group but it's currently being built and it's going to look great when it's done so um, handcraftedbygaz.co.uk and you can go straight to my Facebook group is there anything you'd like to say Laurie any extra bits that you would like to Uh, no I mean join me over on my channel on Coast to Coast Craft Girls I've got lots of videos up and some more coming so and I'll probably do a video on the one project I made today If, if you're interested in that let me know and I can put a video up on that um have to make another one i guess but uh um so yeah join me and definitely uh subscribe to gaz he's uh he does some uh, marvelous mixed media work especially i love 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 his mixed media work so anyway do some great stuff and i'm looking forward to doing this again it would be great do you have any social medias laurie no just youtube just YouTube. Okay, I mean, no problem. I didn't know if you might have had yeah. an Instagram where you put pictures as well, but I just no, I don't do Instagram. I, thought, um, I don't do TikTok. Oh, bless you. No, no problem. Right, okay then. Well, I'll just say another massive thank you from me for joining us this evening. It's been an absolutely yeah, fantastic you. one. We've had a great time. You've had a great time. Um, I will see you all on f- what day are we on? On Monday. Friday. On Monday. Monday. I Give haven't. Me- I haven't got a plan for what I'm going to do on Monday, so I'll put something up over the weekend and Uh we'll see what I'm doing. (laughs) (laughs) Can't wait to see it. And thank you all for your lovely comments and we will see you all again really soon. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Bye. Have a great weekend, Laurie. Bye.